Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Blake, and welcome to Tribal Fever Sports Minute, where we update you on all the most recent action in Tribe Athletics. New Haven opened the second quarter on their own 36, and on a second and 10, linebackers Jake Tranton and Dante Cook combined to sack the New Haven QB for a loss of 13. Tribe had just two sacks on the night, but they were able to consistently bring pressure and force New Haven into a number of third and longs, and of course, a handful of key turnovers. On second and eight, linebacker Steven Sinnott tips a pass from New Haven's QB. B.W. Webb manages an acrobatic leap to get up and pull it down for the pick. And there's pressure off the edge again on this play, and it forced the New Haven quarterback to rush to throw, and B.W. Webb was there to make the kind of athletic play that we're used to seeing him make. In what would be the only Tribe touchdown of the night, Michael Graham found Jonathan Grimes on an 11-yard screen pass, and Grimes would take it in for the score. Tribe struggled in the red zone all night, but here they called the screenplay at the perfect time, and Grimes did a great job of using his blocks and finding the end zone. Later in this one, the Tribe would see a huge gain through the air on the connection from Graham to DJ Mengus for 56 yards to the UNH 17. This is one of the very few passing highlights on the night. Uh, Graham was able to find a wide open Mangus streaking down the seam for a huge gain. With just a little over four minutes left in UNH in field goal range, Jabrell Mines snags a huge goal line interception, returning it for 35 yards. Tribe had three interceptions on the night, and this was easily the biggest uh, the play of the game for the Tribe. There was a lot of pressure on the defense with the offense struggling the way it did, but they responded in a big way to secure the victory. The Tribe came out with the win, 13-10 to 10 over New Haven. Go Tribe! This has been Tribal Fever Sports Minute. We'll see you next week.